Hey guys, so today I wanted to make this video. Uh, this video is about a lion and a duck. And before I begin anymore, uh, the duck is MTG McQuack. So check out his channel, give him, um, he doesn't know I'm making this video. How a duck helped a lion. And first of all, this story is gonna make me look extremely egotistic, extremely self-centered. But the reason I'm sharing this story with you, um, in addition to, uh, being very thankful for MTG McQuacks and what he did for me at that time is to show you how strong the YouTube community of magic content producers are. We're, we all, we are a family. We are, some of us are ego maniacs. Some of us are psychopaths. Some of us have mental health issues. Um, we have all different, we are a, a, as dysfunctional of a family as you could ever imagine, but at the same time, um, I hope and I really do feel like that the other YouTubers who make magic, the other magic YouTubers, know that we support each other. And at the end of the day, people can hate on us, but we're not going to hate on each other, or we should not. And that'll get me to my second. This will be a long rant, I feel, but it's been a while. So back in the old days, uh, when I had another channel called New Law Student, uh, MTG McQuacks would always leave these comments on my channel. And now that I look back on it, I see that he was trying to help me create the channel I currently have today or create a better channel. And I used to make extremely controversial videos. And I knew th those videos would get a lot of hate. I still made them anyway. And he would always be one of the first comments and say, oh, blank, 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 you know, and I took it at that time to be like, oh, MTG McQuacks is a sus, like he is a hater. He is a hater. But that's not what it was. And I recognize that now, but back then I didn't know that. So to move on to the story, I have my new MTG line channel. I have people calling me, uh, saying that I'm going to leave within like a month. People are going to say I'm not going to produce good content. People are saying that uh, all types of bad stuff. Um, and they're contacting subscribers via Facebook message, all this type of stuff. So I get, you know, a few more subscribers. Like I think I get over like a thousand or maybe fifteen hundred, and I make another controversial video, which is kind of like the video I would have made on my older channel, which again was the channel that kind of blew itself up. And MTG McQuack said, "Hey, you know, you shouldn't do this. You should not make this video." Are you, this video is offensive for X, Y, Z. And so I get you know, upset again, because again, everything revolves around me, right? I mean, at that time, that's what I believed. But if, oh, the comment, I still remember the comment. Um, the, the video is no longer, so you can't even look for the video because I took it down. But the comment was like, I believe that the new law student era was over or um, I, I would not want to see you regress and you know back to that. You know, like people would say negative stuff about this particular channel and the way I act and that I'm, but you have no idea how I was. A lot of you don't have any clue how I was back in my old channel. So the, I mean, the ratio of people who didn't like that channel to the ratio of people who don't like this channel, you can't even compare the two. Like, it would be a factor of like a hundred. I took that to heart. You know, I took what MTG McQuack said to heart. And I said to myself, you know what? Maybe he is trying to help me out. So when people say, hey, you need longer videos. Now I look at that and I say, after a while, I'm, I'm like, Okay, maybe they have a point. And you know, Liliana's back because a lot of you like to see her. And then a lot of these comments that I normally would not have uh, taken or even considered on my old channel, I consider now. And that started from that particular comment where he was actually trying to help me. And why was he trying to help me? I don't really know, except that we're part of the same community. And community members, Help each other. I don't know if you know this, but most of the YouTubers know each other. Uh, they chat with each other, they tweet each other, they Facebook each other, and right now, 
I can say that we are a very strong community. Uh, we are a very strong community. And you know, I would invite you guys to be part of our community, to be part, to be a magic YouTuber. Um, and I feel that's super important too, as we grow, as there's more and more different types of YouTubers, uh, you, uh, different types of YouTube channels. That's best. That's great for everybody because now our subscriber base, our subscriber potential base, is much higher because then people, let's say that before there was no channel about. Um, magic history and then suddenly there's a magic history channel and there's interested people who are now going on YouTube for magic history and they're like oh hey wait there's this MTG finance channel kind of I'll watch that as well or this there's this uh, news magic news channel I'll watch that so that's how we get bigger and that's how we get better and at the end of the day we are this we are such a dysfunctional family but we're family nonetheless and I feel like we can ask each other for help when we need it and it will be provided. So yeah, that's it. Um, I don't know, I wanted to make this video for a very long time. I just, I've made it a few different times and it just come out kind of offensive. I don't know why, but it comes off as, you know, hey, you know, I'm making a video telling people I'm an egocentric which, you know, I have improved on, but I still need to improve a little bit on this channel. I still need to be nicer. I still need to be more community oriented. I still have to do some of the stuff that I've promised to do, like, you know, promote other channels and such. Uh, but I felt like it was a story nonetheless, and it's a very important story at this particular time. And I'm sure some YouTubers will watch this that I know and they will kind of get what I'm trying to say, or I hope they do, because it's a very subtle message in this video just for them. We are a family. We make content. We have to stick together. That's it. Bye, guys.